Synovial spinal cyst. Synovial cyst of the spine is an interesting topic. Basically, you need to recognize it is a synovial cyst, and you need to recognize the treatment is probably removal by some sort of decompression, and you may need fusion if there is instability. It occurs due to arthritis of the facets. It occurs mostly in patients six years or older, usually affect L4, L5. This is one of the most active levels. There will be bulging of the lining of the covering of the facet joint. The synovial cyst is a cyst or a fluid-filled cavity. Here you see the facet joint and the lining synovial tissue in the joint. Now you can see the fluid build up in the facet joint and the cyst. When the fluid escapes from the arthritic facet, because it's under pressure, it dilates the capsule of the facet joint and creates a cyst. The connection between the cyst and the facet becomes obvious. The cyst is walled off from the spinal canal. It causes pressure on the nerve root as it tries to exit the foramen. Compare both sides. The cyst acts like a herniated disc. The patient will have low back pain, numbness, and radiation of the pain down the leg. It is best diagnosed by an MRI. The MRI can also diagnose the pressure on the nerve root by the cyst. The cyst is right in T2 because it is a fluid-filled mass. It's not like a disc. And the cyst is contiguous with the hypertrophied facet joint, which also have a high signal intensity. The synovial cyst indicates a facet pathology. The patient would be initially treated conservatively. There is a high recurrence rate with non-surgical treatment. And if there is no improvement, then you will need to do surgery. So what is the best procedure for the pain? If the patient has radiculopathy alone, then you would do decompression. If the patient has significant low back pain due to spinal instability, you would do decompression and fusion. You need to check for associated instability. How do you know that you have spinal instability? Look at MRI or look at the x-rays or get flexion extension x-rays before you decide on the surgical intervention. So basically because you have the synovial cyst, when you go in, you remove it, and then you have hypertrophy of the facets and the ligamentum flavum. So you will do hemilaminotomy and partial facetectomy with direct decompression of the neural elements. And you will do fusion if there is instability. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.